Welcome to Life Devotions. Thank you for joining me today. I am not consumed is the title of this devotion. I am not consumed. The word consumed is the word destroyed. I'm not destroyed. Why not? Well, listen to this writing of Jeremiah. And Jeremiah was a man who was going through incredible sufferings and trials and difficulties in his life, in the responsibilities of his life. The responsibilities he had were enormous. And the, the grace and the Spirit of God was working through him so powerfully that the king could not be indifferent about the words spoken through Jeremiah because God was speaking through Jeremiah to the king and to the rulers of that time. And, and it actually offended his family so enormous that the, that the ruling powers were so upset with what Jeremiah was saying that they were offended and trying to stop Jeremiah. And Jeremiah had moments when he thought, okay, okay, please. I mean, I'm only just saying what God says. So, but God admonished, admonished his servant and said, you may not stop speaking on my behalf because you're my representative. And if you stumble with the footmen, your family members who argue against you, then how can you stand up against the horsemen, the rulers? And that is what that statement that's used nowadays even still, uh, it really meant. In other words, don't let what your parents, your family uh, say about you bother you when I want you to be able to speak to kings and rulers. Actually, the king had a real love for Jeremiah and, and secretively was trying to keep him alive when the other princes who the king didn't dare stand up against was trying to kill him. So anyway, it's all interesting how that all was happening. And here in the middle of all of this, when Jeremiah was thrown into a pit and was up to his chest in the muck, in the muck in the bottom of that pit, where he should have died, but the king secretively brought him food. The king could have pulled him out, but the king felt intimidated by his princes and everybody. And, <clears throat> and Jeremiah was really going through some serious stuff there. And then look what he says in the midst of all of this. Verse 22 of Lamentations 3. Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. Wow. I'm not consumed because I know you love me. I know you love me. I know it's trying to kill me what I'm going through. I know I should have been dead already, but I'm not because your compassions fail not. Your love for me is unfailing. I'm not destroyed because your mercies fail not. Come on, let me read it again. Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed. We're not destroyed. It's because of His absolute unfailing mercy that I am not destroyed. In Malachi, it says in chapter 3, verse 6, chapter 3, verse 6, For I am the Lord, I do not change, therefore you are not consumed. Now, what does that mean to you? To me, that scripture has helped me when I should have done better, could have done better, when I really knew, <clears throat> knew better, you know, and I just, yeah, I don't know, what can I say? I made a mistake, I disobeyed or whatever. And that should have destroyed me the Lord upheld me. And that I know for a legalist is unfair because they always think that everybody should just reap everything they sow. How they, however, they themselves don't like to be held responsible for what they want others held responsible for. I know that sounds a bit harsh. I didn't mean it to be hard, but sometimes we hold other people responsible for things that we ourselves want to have mercy for. And that, that's not God. God says, be merciful as I've been merciful. Or he is merciful to the merciful. So you've got to be able to extend the same mercy to others the Lord has extended to you. And, and we could sometimes be quite 
judgmental with others while ourselves enjoying God's goodness. And I can tell you the truth that I'm here before you today because God's mercies haven't failed. He has been the same. He says, for I am the Lord, I do not change. Therefore, you are not consumed. It's because God has been so faithful to me that I am here and alive. So in other words, to Him belongs the honor and the praise. To Him belongs the honor and the praise. And I really believe this with all of my heart, you know. In Psalm 78, that is one anointed psalm. Wow, Psalm 78. He says in verse 37, (laughs) For their heart was not steadfast with him, nor were they faithful in his covenant. But he, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity and did not destroy them. You see what I just quoted from Malachi 3 verse 6? I am the Lord. I do not change. Therefore, you are not consumed. Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed. Again, their heart was not steadfast with him, nor were they faithful in his covenant. But he, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity and did not destroy them. Yes, many a time he turned his anger away and did not stir up all his wrath. My goodness, my goodness, friends. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a breath that passes away and does not come again. How often they provoked him in the wilderness and grieved him in the desert. Yes, again and again they tempted God and limited the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember his power the day when he had redeemed them from the enemy, when he brought them out of Egypt. They didn't remember what he had done for them. No, I'm not consumed. Why not? because the Lord's mercy never fails, because His compassions fail not. If you are facing destruction, how can you stop it? What can you do? What could you do to to stop the destruction that's looming? Go on your knees before the Lord and read Malachi 3 verse 6. Read Psalm 78. (laughs) Read Lamentations 3, verse 21 through 26. And you just on your knee and say, Father, you are the same. You are God and you do not change. Therefore, I'm not destroyed. Father, I commit this situation to you. Father, I commit this situation to you. You see, when you come to God with such a heart of absolute surrender, it's amazing how you will see his mercies come through for you. One of the most famous Psalms of David is Psalm 103. And we know that Psalm because we sing it. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Remember that song? That's Psalm 103, David's, one of David's famous Psalms. And here it says in Psalm 103, starting at verse 1, Bless the Lord, O O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you, who redeems your life from destruction. Destruction means being consumed. Who crowns you with love and kindness and tender mercy. Who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not 
dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from him as from us as a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. <laughs> you see it? I'm not consumed. Why not? I'm not destroyed. Why not? Because the Lord's mercy. Because his mercies fail not. Great is his faithfulness. His compassions are so wonderful. His love is so unfailingly true. I'm not consumed. I should have been consumed many times. Many times I should have been consumed, folks. In my lifetime, I could take you back to many, 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 many instances that I should have been consumed, that our marriage should have been consumed, that Life Church here should have been consumed. Many times. Oh, I've had somebody scream at me with the voice of the devil that church will be destroyed. <laughs> but it wasn't destroyed. Why not? Why not? Because of the Lord's mercy. And I know that I know it. I know we are a witness of His mercy and grace. We're a testimony of God's unfailing love, of His great faithful mercies. Now, come on. Begin to say it. I'm not consumed. No, no. And maybe something is trying to destroy your life, destroy your marriage, destroy your business, destroy your finances, destroy your... What? Say it. I'm not consumed. I'm not consumed. I'm not consumed. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and say it. I'm not consumed. Oh, Father, I thank you. I'm not consumed. I'm not destroyed by this. I thank you, Father. I thank you. Oh, I feel the anointing of God coming out towards you. So be, keep believing and saying it, and you will see how the Lord is faithful and true. Amen. Have a good day.